In this question, you are asked to find the dimension of a cylindrical can to minimize the cost of the metal. And please note that your can can hold one liter of oil. First of all, since it's an optimization problem, we need to find a relation between variables and take the derivative. Here you have a can and you have height and then you have a radius. If you cut this can, it can be formed by using, by folding a rectangular metal sheet and two circular shapes. What is the area of this rectangular metal sheet? It is H times its length. So the width is H and the length is two pi R. Why is that? Because on top you have a circular object, circular shape, and the circumference of a circle is two pi r. This is the length of the circle. So this length is equal to two pi r. Very good. So you have the area here, and you also have two areas on top and down. So the surface area is going to be two pi r squared, one pi r squared, one pi r squared. So it's going to be two pi r squared plus the area of this rectangular object, which is two pi r times h. Now, since you have two variables, we cannot take the derivative right now. It is a first variable calculus. So you need to write r in terms of h or h in terms of r. Well, how do we do that? From the question, we know that the can can hold one liter or a thousand cubic centimeter of oil or liquid. It means that the volume pi r squared h of the can is equal to one liter or a thousand cubic centimeter. So you can write h in terms of r. h is equal to a thousand divided by pi r squared. Now substitute this guy into the surface area formula and simplify this, you get 2 pi r squared plus 2,000 divided by r. Why we are doing that? Because we want to take the derivative with respect to r. So since you have the function a in terms of r, 2 pi r squared plus 2,000 divided by r, you can take the derivative and find the critical value. The derivative of 2 pi r squared with respect to r is 4 pi r. And here you have 2,000 divided by r, the derivative becomes negative 2,000 divided by r squared. You can simplify this by taking the common denominator and setting this equal to zero. When you set it equal to zero, in simplified form, r becomes the third root of 500 divided by pi. And then once you substitute this guy back into this formula, h becomes 1,000 divided by pi r squared or 1,000 divided by pi times 500 over pi, 2 divided by 3, or after simplifying the whole thing, a relation between h and r, h becomes 2 times r. So to minimize the cost, these are the dimensions that we should have. You can use a calculator to find these numbers. They are a little bit difficult to calculate, so the best way is to use a calculator.